we've had fan letters and fan art and just events like this, people have, have come up and they said um, that they wish that they had something like this growing up because some of them realized that they were gay or they were lesbian because they fell in love with their best friend in high school. And hearing that just puts things in perspective because when you're, when you're shooting something, you kind of just forget you know, what's reality and what's, what's comedy and what's a show. And when we meet people like that, we, you, know, you realize that you're doing something that, that's out there that people could relate to for, for such an underrepresented group. So it's been, it's been really incredible. And I feel like for my character, for Amy, she's you know, becoming this resource and this outlet for a lot of people. Um, and and this, this stuff that fans have told me, and you know, they write letters and they say, I've, I've gone through this self-discovery process and I've, I've been through bullying and self-harm. And, and these are young you know, kids. These are 13, 14 year olds. Um, and, and they say watching the show has helped me get through it and made me feel like I wasn't alone. And it's just been incredible. And the mayor of West Hollywood is actually going to be giving the show uh, the, the key to the city. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, the day before the premiere. So congratulations yeah. to you guys. That's when you thought that only happened in TV shows. Yeah. yeah. It actually It's happened. real. You want the real keys. Well, that's you? the thing. I thought, like, when Cards told me, I was like, okay, fantastic. We get a key. Does it mean we get 30 minutes free drinks? Like, what's actually yep. the deal? Yeah, what's this key for? But he thought, like, it opens, it? Like, like, every drink to West Hollywood. Yeah, because Carter said to me, he was like, oh, you can literally go to any restaurant in West Hollywood. You go have fun, 30 minutes or an hour. Just go have fun. I was like, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently not. And, you know, like, <laughs> I'm... I'm not bitter that I didn't wear, win American Idol, but when you get into the top three, like normally your hometown gives you the key to the city. And I got eliminated. So <laughs> this is like my new experience. <laughs> this guy scared the hell out of me in my trailer one night. I will never forget that. I came, I came to my trailer after after you know the the day was over and I was about to change, and he he yeah I'm just you know I'm in my trailer by myself, um, and Michael Michael decided to climb into what is a very small cabinet in a trailer. Now trailers are not what? big. Yeah, they are not big. The ones <laughs> over the couches. <laughs> there there are little dra drawers no, and cabinets bathroom. up there. It's it's a pretty small space. And somehow he managed to get himself in there, and he pops out of this thing, <laughs> scaring the, you know what? I have it on video me. somewhere. And but then, oh, you do, you do. Yeah. And then and then I'm like, okay, that wasn't funny, and I got mad at him. And then I left, and I come back, and I think, okay, he's not gonna do this again. <laughs> There's no way. And I'm looking at the door to my bathroom, and I'm just saying, I'm kind of trying to listen, and I'm like, he wouldn't do it. But then I kind of inch closer, and I'm, you know, my hands at the at the knob, and as I pull, he just pops out <laughs> again and scares me like twice. twice as bad as the first time. <laughs>